Hey there, big government, may I maybe laugh at this? Or are my giggle quotas spent on serpentine hate speech hiss emanating from my every pore and sweating from my golden mucus laden cishet core? Thrice cursed and beholden to your standard deviation of rapturous and torturous flaccid curious domination of the vaporous and glorious equality of constipation, as laid forth by erroneous, drunken pseudo-metaphysical, intellectual, part-time stimulus who deadpanned, drugged, hysterical, tends towards incompetence. Good morning, dear, big brother, sir. May I mayhaps maybe speak, or are my dual testes such a blur that you much prefer protect the weak to anything which I alone declare about this sudden state of woe, which you through tyranny prepare for us to pack and buckle up and go, somewhere you vaguely labelled new, where faces through barbed wire grin, then through incessant howls accrue dubious layers of transgenerational sin, along paternal bloodlines old and mean, or deemed as such from vantage points whose decadent and pampered spleen would see old and tired rheumatic joints removed for progress and progress alone. Good evening, sister, gracious Xur, whose numerous labels illuminate transparencies. Neither noxious he nor saint like her, to grace the present with abundant inconsistencies. May I please receive my license to laugh, my bi-monthly allowance of moderate giggling, or is it maybe justice served to split in half the radical notion of humour making wriggling forms and shapes of those of lesser worth than you? Is it maybe so that neither his or hers should transcend obstacles indifferent to your woo, or ascend through laughter troubles which could break the minds of those who, weak of will, would never fathom liberty through comedy? Those who traverse hardships extreme and still find the strength to laugh at state's action travesty. Woe unto you, drooling mad and moon-faced mob of justice served through thoughtless crime. A vicious, cancerous, infected blob, a product of our superficial, callous time, whose endless, never-thinking rage seeks offence where no offence is done, whose imbecilic, nonsense pleas and cage freeform thoughts to make sure none would ever find the courage to engage, whose cancer spreads through hate, through vile and vicious mob rule bullying, to make sure none would ever create a movement clear and concise in defying, your lung-puncturing screech of incompetence, flowing on wafts of air in monosyllabic drools, brought on by dumbstruck identitarian decadence. Good evening, identitarian identity crisis, vague and venomous and vile. Could your suburbanite pawnshop Isis allow me my speech for a while? Or would it upset these fragrant gardens of your comfortable middle class, these delicate withered petals of your wardens who trapped you in this personhood of glass? Would it threaten your victim narrative, were I to raise my cis-set voice regarding your pettiness, to say it is comparative to sheltered prepubescent children guarding their mud cakes in their sandbox paradise? Oh, would we then see your castles crumble, bit by bit and piece by piece, or hear your vacuum voices mumble, something, something, war is peace.